Hello and welcome back to the Voice of Youth podcast. I am your host, Louis Kardash, and today we have a very special guest, Ariel Katsia. How are you? Hello, how you doing? Good, good. Very good, thank you. Now, Ariel is an artist. She also does a lot of work within the community and inspires and also has her own set of exhibitions and paintings. Mm -hmm. Correct. So why don't you tell us a quick bit about yourself? Um, So I'm a local artist. Um, I've been practicing professionally for about six years, I would say. Um, and always learning, always um, trying new trades to mix in with my own trade. And I basically mix fashion, art and art therapy all together in one. Oh, amazing. And you're based in Freo, is that right? Yes, based in Freo. Yeah. Where else would an artist be based? My I don't know, right? <laughs> I'm, I'm, sure, I'm, I'm like the typical like, Freo artist. I'm like, oh. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't label me. <laughs> hey, it's, it's, it's the most artsy like, culture, it is. probably part of WA, well, it Perth is. at least, definitely. Yeah, and the council's pretty supportive. Yeah. Frio council, yeah. Really Shout out to Frio. Yeah, Shout out to right. the artists. <laughs> <laughs> so, what, so what's your history of art? Like, when was your first interest? So I started from a fashion background. Yeah, okay. And um, studied that for three years. Mm-hmm. And in that um, component, I, there was a figure drawing class. And yeah. we did like a, like studied fabrics and how it fell on the body. And from that, I just knew that that was my direction. Mm-hmm. And that's, yeah, from finished studying, that's where I followed. Instead of doing fashion design, I kind of more moved into the art scene of it. Natural talent, yeah. you know, natural yeah. one for it. That's right. So, <laughs> what, about, what about during school? Were you like into your painting or did you take art as like a ATAR or something like that? I did. I yeah. did. Um, it was called TE Art back then. Oh, <laughs> back oh then. God. She's um, not that old, by the way. Yeah, yeah. She's <laughs> under 30. <laughs> um, but... Yeah, so I did art, I did music, I did drama, so I did all like those artsy mm-hmm. kind of um, subjects, but obviously gravitated towards the, the fashion more side. art and fashion. Yeah. Um, and then from fashion and art, I moved into more therapy yeah. side of things, and I studied a wonderful thing called transpersonal art therapy. Amazing. Can you t- why don't you tell us about that? I forward the people out there. We're not exactly yeah, no, that's <laughs> educated cool. on that, yeah. but what's, what is... Uh, so art therapy, therapy hasn't been in Perth for very long. It's more of the east and um, overseas, but it's catching up slowly here. And it's basically um, using the art form to help with anything under the sun, mental health, physical ability, disabilities. Amazing. And it's for everyone. Yeah. And from, from babies all the way to elderly. Incredible. So, so. what so does it like entail particular things or is it... Um, so at the moment I'm working with people with disability with art therapy and also creating like a safe workspace for them. So instead of speaking about what is going on with you either mentally or physically, you can um, create an artwork about it and you can talk from that, from mm. the artwork into reality. So like pictures speak louder than words. Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> you got it. It's Very true. Yeah. So you had, you know, you went through school with your art stuff and, um, art and I we took the subjects and through um through uni as well yeah how have you like developed your skills over or made that transition over is it just like still developing yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I'm so like, it's like always what? on job yeah pretty much I, I every time I feel like I've nailed something mm-hmm. I'll meet someone or go to a, a workshop or go to a class or see something a tutorial on YouTube and I'll be like oh my gosh I have so much more to learn mm-hmm. and then always say that, that, that saying um the more I learn the more I need to learn mm-hmm. and it's, yeah it's just ongoing but so it's always kind of striving yeah, to be better striving sure. to expand your trade and stuff Definitely. like that um, yeah. never and, stop learning that's, the, <laughs> that's my one tool yeah. never stop learning yeah. well, it's similar for this right because sure. we didn't really have a clue but always on job always learning new things exactly, and I guess yeah. with art it's so diverse and there's a lot of variety yeah and like you said it can have an impact on so many different people I guess you're able to pick and expand from yeah, it's endless. Yeah, so Absolutely I've, endless, which is great. Yeah, amazing. Have you made like your own profile then? Are you known for certain stuff or is it again just all growing? Um, a few people have said that they can like recognise my style from mm-hmm. a painting if if I'm like f- mm-hmm. not physically there or that my art my name is not on the artwork, they're able to yeah. say, Oh yeah, that's an Ara Katsu, which yeah. means a lot to me because it took me a while to kind of gain that style and that's that mistakes. Yeah. So um, that's definitely an up for me. <laughs> uh, yeah, but um, every now and then I get like um, confused with another artist called Jodie Knowles. Yeah. She um, was local, but I think she's over east now. Um, she's amazing as well. 
Um, but yeah, kind of merged kind of style. So and I'm slowly branching away to different <laughs> different direction. How, how have you gone about like growing that profile? So do you like have the websites and there's galleries as well? Mm, mm. Um, with galleries, it's great because they help you branch out. Um, my first gallery to approach me was 19 Karen Gallery, which is over in Gold Coast. Oh, wow. And they have been National. a huge support. Yeah. Yeah, they've been a huge support. They're amazing. And um, the How lady are... who owns it, Terry, she yeah. is like unbelievable with support and anything that you need, which has been great. Um, just to be represented is an honor. So yeah, Amazing. How, yeah. How old are you when that happened? Oh, I was, I think that was like five years ago. So I wow. was 20, 24. Oh, wicked. So did that feel like yeah. pretty amazing to have someone from overseas? Oh, Overeast. Not Overeast. Overeast, 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 Overeast yeah. Overeast. Gold Coast, yeah. It was really cool. Like, yeah. I remember getting the message going, oh my God. And like, yeah. <laughs> Nationally. Just, yeah, yeah. yeah so did amazing. you have to like go over there and stuff or did they just... I've gone over there twice. Yeah. We've done group shows. Yeah. Um, which was fun because you get to meet the other artists and people that are, go to the, sh- um, the gallery quite often. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a good and feeling. Do you have like clients, I guess you could say, through that like, artist to paint it or make certain projects? Commissions and things like that? Commission, yeah. 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 Well, I have my regular um, clients. Um, yeah, and they've bought a few pieces, which I'm grateful for. Thank you yeah. so much. Um, you see you around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep your eye out. Yeah, but they're, yeah, they're really supportive. Um, and also, I'm getting I'm gaining people through my workshops. Yeah. A lot of people are recognizing that um, workshops. Because I run my workshops for like kind of mental mm-hmm. health kind of aspect of it because yeah. I mix my art therapy into it. Yeah. So I'm getting a lot of people through there. And that has a positive impact on those people. For sure. Yeah. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm speaking for them, but yes. Yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah. And yeah. you've seen it and many different people, different backgrounds all come into this. So many and different ages as yeah. well. Yeah. And, and From young to really old. Do you feel like it's a massive potential almost avenue for people to go down who are maybe struggling with I think so because well for me I um I love to play Mm -hmm. and then when I'm playing so many ideas come out and also I'm able to just like express myself without any judgment because I don't put all my work on social media so yeah only some of it will go on there what I want people to see but so I'm able to play freely and yeah so instead of calling it like a painting or I you just call it like I just play time. So. Yeah, so it's just like almost free. Express yourself. Yeah, exactly. Do you want and that yeah. element of art probably is, you know, the biggest thing, right? It's just sure. canvas. Express yourself. Yeah, I think once you start doing it for money, that's when you kind of break yourself. Yeah. You're just like. So is that always like chore. the mentality where it's like you're doing it out of love more than? For sure. Yeah, yeah. you have to because if you don't, I feel like that will come off to other people as well, and people are like, oh, she's just you know doing it for you know, money in the bank, but like... But you can tell. Yeah, you can totally tell. Have you ever maybe released a piece and thought, ah, oh, I can do this better and come back and maybe done it all over again or something? 100%. I've put a piece up and then I've taken it down and painted over it because I'm like, what am I doing? Because yeah. you can... I don't know why. I've done it a few times where I've posted it and I'm like, why have I done this? But you live and learn. It's mm-hmm. just like part of the... Part of the journey, really. Yeah, and like with anything that is being released, is there ever that like element of fear about? Always. Yeah. <laughs> so but... much fear, but like, like people say, like if you let fear take over, you're never going to move forward, right? If you don't taste the risk, I guess yeah. you'll never find out. Yeah, but, but sometimes my f- if I'm fearful for it, fearful for it, yeah. I will move forward and and do it mm-hmm. because that's when you break out, and that's yeah, yeah that's where all the reward is. Oh, amazing. Yeah, and so I that's... guess the reward more like. Know, people seeing it and yeah for sure yeah um, people bouncing off it in a good positive way amazing. or even a non-positive way like as, as long as i'm reaching someone out there yeah. <laughs> yeah make make that one person made all the difference exactly yeah yeah oh, incredible it's good times. incredible <laughs> yeah <laughs> so when did you start you know with the art therapy itself or when when did you start with the workshops i guess um so when i finished study um it was through three years ago Finished studying art therapy three years ago, yeah. And then I got a wonderful job at a place called Rocky Bay, and it's a um, it's a phys- uh, like a place for people with disability, mental and physical, to come and um, just um, join our workshops. We do like art and mosaic. We do cooking. 
Um, we do um, yoga. We do um, like garden craft. Amazing. So what, I run the art entail? and mosaic groups. Yeah. And it's just yeah an opportunity for them to play. Per yeah. Se. And yeah, and just do what they need to do, yeah. kind of express themselves. Amazing. Yeah. Is there with those programs? I guess is it coordinated by a group of people? Or is it just yourself? Um, it's a group of people. Um, I. I w- you could say like I'm like the the head person to yeah. kind of go to, but there's a, a team of people that come together and work together. And are they all like I guess like minded, same vision, same goals? Pretty much, yeah. You yeah. have to be, otherwise it, it would yeah. be scattered like a crazy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. How, how, you have team meetings every now and then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> very true. Very true. How yeah. important do you think having that those people around you, I guess, to help you with that stuff, have the same vision, Ooh, have so the same important. ideas? Yeah. Because if if yeah if you don't have that backup, you can. It's just a huge strain on your like, your mental mm-hmm. health and your stability <laughs> no, to be definitely. able to give. Because in that kind of work, you're giving so much. Because yeah, you're in a position of um, being a helper in a way, mm-hmm. a support worker. Amazing, and they yeah. all range of different ages and. Yeah, so well. um, it's eighteen onwards. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You're eighteen onwards. Yeah, it's people who are just leaving school and things Amazing. like that. So that that's like a possible pathway for people that maybe are interested in the arts to go down. For sure, yeah. Because not only are you um, still involved in the arts, but you're like helping others in different fields as well. Mm-hmm. So it's really good. And it's not like you need a degree or anything. You just have to. Um, you don't. No, not in not in that part. No, uh, art therapy you do, but it's yeah you can do a diploma, a diploma or um, mm-hmm. masters, whatever. Oh, They're offered too. Yeah. So we'll talk about like now art industry itself i guess mm-hmm. and all the different avenues that you've seen down so many, <laughs> so many. Why, why don't you talk? yeah well, what are some like possible avenues that you could go down um well obviously because i've come from like a fashion one so mm-hmm. you've got your fashion you've got your um um art therapy you can art coordinator art director there's so many yeah it's endless it depends what your strength or what your passion is but you only find that out from actually doing so I've done like countless of different jobs here and there and work, um, workshops and things to kind of find my niche, you mm-hmm. could say. And for maybe young artists, maybe trying to build a profile, is it having that element of like creativeness and being true to yourself, I guess, is that mm. probably the best advice instead of maybe not selling out but doing it for more of the financial gain? Yeah, like if, if you're just starting out, what I found worked for me was um, doing work placements. Yeah just reaching out to local businesses and even local artists and seeing if you could just work with them day to day. So that was just like emails and... Yeah, that's the best, probably email, but now Instagram. I used to email back in the day. (laughs) Yeah, that's how we connected. That's even how we connected. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. So, So, yeah, Instagram is probably the best way. And it's like people just going out there and always selling themselves. For sure. Yeah. For sure. If you're not good at selling yourself, it's a. I feel like you don't have to be a salesperson these days, but... You just have to be able to have that energy of, like, I'm keen to learn. Definitely, yeah. Because if you just come off like, oh, yeah, it's a cool for you know, like, you just need that energy to say, oh, would you be able to, or would you be willing to show me this? And you'd be surprised how many people are willing to share their advice and share their knowledge. 100%. Well, for example, yeah. us, you straight away were keen yeah, and I'm interested. Yeah, so keen. <laughs> no, but it's yeah. amazing. It's just, yeah. like, the element, I guess, of having a person that, you know, is willing to go to those lengths mm. and reach out to you and say we're interested in you we want to get to know but also at the same time we want to show us and get ourselves out there yeah for sure because it's like in a way of collaborating Mm because you guys are doing your thing and i i can feel like that you're you're vibing on something do you know what i mean so it's like it's cool like you're just starting and it's like i love that definitely yeah and collaborations itself Mm. very positive for in the art scene very good way to i guess move forward Yes, I love collaborations only for the fact that you like bounce off ideas off each other and support each other. And I guess you have like two different, um, like two different interests and two different sets of skills. Yeah, and you can mission mash and make it into exactly. And then that's when like the magic happens because yeah. you like both got these strengths and you mm-hmm. come together. It's a whole unique thing. So definitely, yeah. Kind of like, I guess you could say like us, like exactly right. Two people. That's what. <laughs> that's right. 100%. Yeah. percent And yeah. even with people that maybe that you went to school with just anyone can collab with anyone and it can yeah uh, it doesn't have to be like two artists or no. two it's like um i've collaborated with clothes brands like 
they're an art form in themselves but mm -hmm. yeah so you don't have to be an artist and artist collaborating it can be a clothes brand and an artist mm -hmm. or um software and an artist you know so it doesn't have to be two the same amazing how, yeah. how does like something like that come across as again just as easy as dms or is it more a bit more official i guess with like clove brands it depends it depends on the brand yeah yeah um have you ever had some where they're a bit like commercial and yes yeah but at the end of the day they just send you a message and they say oh no we're not interested you know like, yeah. that's cool move on it's not meant for you kind of thing yeah i'm and a firm in... believer if it comes easy then it's meant to be if it's mm -hmm. not you have to... yeah and it's like you you know if if maybe you something doesn't work it's just like right onto the next thing yeah exactly because yeah. if forward. you ponder on that like bad kind of you're just going to get stuck there yeah. so just keep moving forward it's like a bunch of opinions i guess exactly yes and you don't you know yeah. opinion doesn't mean it's fact that's right <laughs> yeah so don't Stuff let like it spoil that. you mm -hmm. yeah and i guess for artists that maybe are feeling like that isn't maybe a financial pathway through how do we go about commissions or making profit i guess from um commissions are great because mm -hmm. um they're also like a collaboration between you and the person commissioning you because um, you're using your style but you're using their idea of what mm -hmm. they want you to per se paint. So it's having I that guess. trust in yeah each other and yeah. being able to make profit from that. Yeah. Um, do you like look for clients or do they look for as a kind of both party system? Mm, good question. So like when I first started I was out there like every day like pushing and looking and the emailing grind. yes exactly the grind the hustle like, <laughs> so like i remember reading a um little bio from like, kurt cobain and how yeah. he would be out there every day like calling and hustling mm -hmm. like for gigs left right and center and i was just like he just comes across as this cool like chilled like things just came to me like people wanted me to you know do gigs and whatever and and i was just like Oh my gosh, like if he had to work that hard, so do I. Definitely. So, yeah, so I just did the same and that res resonated with me. I was like, yeah, I'm pushing, I'm pushing. And now naturally people come to me slowly. Yeah. So I'm so, starting to get that nice balance. Mm -hmm. So I guess that's advice for young people, put in that effort to go and reach out. For sure. Don't yeah. just sit back. Like, no. You got, and I guess... Hustle, hustle. <laughs> yeah, and then, but you'll get your rewards. Like you'll build a profile. Definitely, yeah. And then people want to approach you. Yeah. But... Obviously, I'm not saying you're you're a big name, but you know you've got a profile. You've yeah, achieved yeah. certain things. Do you still go out your way to you know reach out to other people? Always. So it's never like a pride thing or anything. It's like no, I think once you get that pride, your ego takes over and it's yeah. not it's not pretty. Oh no. And it's then not. I feel like you block yourself from certain things. Yeah. Because there's people out there that um will look up to you and reach out to you, and if if your ego is too high, you you won't see and you won't connect. Oh, Oh, one hundred percent. So. Yeah, also that's why collaborations are great because you just, it's, uh, for me, it's a way of gr um, grounding myself and reconnecting with other people in a way that I normally wouldn't. Um, for your line of work um, and your style, I guess, is there certain, does it mean you have to work with, I guess, people in the same style? Like if you're oh, yeah. good at one thing, should you maybe be connecting at a certain group of people? Um, you obviously have your target audience yep. and what you resonate with. Um, but I do like the idea of working with someone completely opposite to what you, you do because then it just creates something completely unique. Yeah. I guess it's the old saying, opposites attract almost. Exactly, exactly. I like your little quotes coming up. Oh, yeah, this is good. Listen, yeah. <laughs> this is if a you good like them, write them down, the voice of your podcast. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, this is good. TM, no, I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> um, but... Uh, Oh, sorry, I know I forgot the question. Well, no, it's, <laughs> totally sure. it's about opposite uh, brands and like different projects. Oh, like, yes, yeah, different. yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, so opposites attract, love mm -hmm. that idea. Yeah. And also um, just the the beauty and the uniqueness that can come from 100%. working some opposite, yeah. yeah. So I guess for like people out there, take that risk and you don't have to look in the narrow. Yeah. Obviously you do with what yeah. like resonates with you. Of course, Otherwise of course. you're just going to... Just stay true to yourself. That's right, yeah. But at the same time, you don't really want to have tunnel vision. Exactly, yeah. A bit of a... Branch out. Yeah, there we go. You'll be, yeah, you'll be surprised what you learn. Be a tree. Yeah. And there we go. I need you, like, <laughs> this is great. Exactly. I need you to be my quote. Obviously. <laughs> of course, of course. Yeah. Um, now, we'll talk about your style particularly mm -hmm. um, and issues that I guess are raised. Are there any issues that you try and focus on? I've seen there's been some um, mm. on the feminist side. Um, yeah. Like female expression. Um, obviously, we've seen not you, but there's 
BLM stuff at the minute, Love is Love, is there any particular issues that you try to push with your art? So a lot of the time I paint for myself and yep. then when I hang up a painting or so I have a show or if I put it up on Instagram or social media or whatever platform um, and then I'm speaking to a potential client, they'll be like, oh, what, what is the meaning behind this? And I straight away like throw it back onto them and be like, what do you see? I think that's my art therapy background mm-hmm. coming into it as well because I don't like putting my meaning onto it because the artwork is is once I finish it, it's not for me anymore. It's for everyone else. I'm quoting that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's wicked. So it's, it's, yeah, for me, I've done my work with it mm-hmm. and now I'm like letting it go kind of thing. Just like with music almost, it's like a song might mean for different things and lyrics might mean for different ideas. Exactly, yeah. So different for mm-hmm. you know, whoever's looking at it. But then to you, you still might always look and think, oh, that was certain, certain. Yeah. But then someone might say, actually, I see it's certain, certain. But there's no wrong answer. No, there isn't. That's the beauty of art, though. Mm-hmm. So um, I feel like if I put a meaning onto an artwork, sometimes it can ruin that for people. So I just let people make up their mm. own mind. And obviously, that's, I guess, some people, if they want to put particular issues on it and make it quite obvious, they can still do that. For sure. Yeah, yeah I'm not stopping them. No, like, you guys no... do you. Negative or positive, yeah. whatever. Yeah. There's no rules. Exactly. Um, and sometimes I just paint a painting because I feel like it's pretty yeah. and I want to make a pretty picture. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Decent. So yeah. it's like for every, everything. And yeah. I guess with art, there's so many different moods as well. Like even we've got, so we've got this one, lemon, and just mean, just looking pretty for pretty sake. Yeah, still life. Other ones, we have Aboriginal paintings up there. Beautiful, yeah. And another sunset. Well, I see that as a horizon, but Dad says it's another planet. So it's just like... Oh, yeah. A horizon on another planet. Yeah. There you go. (laughs) Mix the two together. 100%. Yeah. There we go. (laughs) (laughs) Um, But, yeah, with the... um, It's it's powerful art. So, you know, certain issues and particular concepts, it can push that meaning forward. Yes, definitely. Um, I've been part of exhibitions where they come up with a theme or some sort of um, meaning behind the exhibition. So I've always had to... You have to work within those guidelines, obviously. But, yeah, the best artwork comes from Mm -hmm. whatever you're kind of trying to portray. And with clients, have they ever maybe said, like, we want you to portray this, portray that? Yeah, that's when commissions come in. Yes, okay. That's why, like, commissions, I find personally, are harder. Mm -hmm. Because it's not coming really from you, it's coming from the client. Yeah. So to get into that headspace is a whole nother level. Mm -hmm. That's why I've actually stopped doing commissions. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's just... No, that's... To, yeah. Yeah, but with maybe other artists um that idea of financial gain mm. you for example you've put like yourself over that um yeah is that do you think it's, it's a good uh, commissions are great don't get me yeah. wrong if they work for you go for it but mm-hmm. for my style and way of working it didn't work yeah. okay. in the beginning it did just because i was still learning and still gaining like my own kind of trust in myself um and it was fun to be like oh cool this person wants an artwork for me you know mm-hmm. so i was really excited and still put all my love and joy into it mm-hmm. but um at the end of the day yeah it didn't work anymore so. put yourself over yeah yeah money's not going to be there Had to let it you go know. yeah, yeah. No, i read it i read it definitely. it was scary at first though yeah. because i'm like commissions are kind of your bread and butter yeah but. and how you make a but now i guess it's never part you never do it for the money but you have other avenues of yeah income that's and, what that's what you have to realize yeah and again art's more about yourself and pulling out parts not really yeah exactly um, but uh, with the younger generation, mm. would you maybe push though for some to, you know, spread awareness issues through art and? Yeah, for sure. Um, because young people have, uh, not just young people, but you know, every being has like something to say. Yeah. So if you have a message to, kind of portray, art's a great way of doing it. Freedom of speech. That's right. And expression. Yes. Yeah. 100%. Yeah, so up to you whether or not you want to choose to share it or, you know, and whatever it, level. Yeah, and it, I mean, it's a bit cliche, but I guess young, the young generation is the next generation. That's um, right. They're always, le- and you know, it seems to be that, you know, for example, I went to the BLM marches. It was run by people like two or three years older than me. Okay. Um, shout out to them, by the way. <laughs> it's wicked. Yeah. But the power, I guess, that we have of being that next coming through i guess with through art as well Mm. could have a real impact on society itself yeah and i think with this whole like coronavirus thing as well yeah yeah 
you got to realize how important art and how powerful mm. it is. Yeah. And since since um all the restrictions and everything, like art shops and around Australia are literally virtually empty because people are going through that creative outlet and mm. how important that is. Mm-hmm. So if that's not proof enough, like what, I don't exactly. know what is. How was know? coronavirus for you? Like, for you and the art itself? It was the best time. Really? Yeah. It just gave me time to breathe. Like all my events got cancelled, obviously. Cause yeah, shame. Do that. But, but you blessing just, in disguise. Exactly, yeah. And you learn to kind of do different avenues of mm-hmm. um, reaching out to people. So I did a lot of like video chats and um, one-on-ones with... Um, like zoom and things yeah, like that oh, and going too. live yeah definitely which yeah. was fun it was just a different way of expressing myself and getting reaching people and a new new avenue and platform yeah yeah but that's wicked that in fact you didn't you could see coronavirus as a setback but you actually made the best out of it and for sure yeah gave me time to catch up oh definitely yeah made a website oh, amazing <laughs> yeah which was good we put that by the way in the bio or your social you. as well Thank don't you. worry yeah and a wonderful lady um emily helped me Oh, okay. Shout out yeah, to her. Yeah, shout out to um, On setbacks, you've probably had some in your career? Always. Yeah. Still do. Yeah? And yeah. what might some of them be? Um, or have been? Um, a lot of setbacks. So <laughs> I don't want to put myself down. No, no, no. <laughs> no I know what you mean. Um, I just... Only if you're comfortable about talking about Yeah, yeah, for yeah. sure. Um, I'd probably say like there's more setbacks than there are... Um, Forwarders. <laughs> What's the word? <laughs> Going more setbacks and then, wins. Let's that's say. right. There yeah. you go. Or progress. Forwarders. Is that a word? Help yeah. me. Cut that out. Add it to the, <laughs> add it to the, <laughs> yeah. Um So, uh, oh, by the way, like English is sort of my second language. So yeah. What's your first? So, uh, we lived in he- uh, Israel for a while. So Sweet I went Hebrew. to a Hebrew school. No way. But, um, shalom. Shalom. But, <laughs> um, so, Rabbi yes. Rabbi so, and Ben yourself? No. um so yeah so what was i saying again oh yeah so setbacks so uh setbacks would be obviously companies saying no to you Mm -hmm. and like moving forward from that um setbacks from like trying to reach um like uh, jobs or training sessions and it's just not resonating with you so not only are you losing money but you lost time yeah but again like moving forward from that um and a huge setback i had i had a clothing brand which um after a while, it just didn't resonate with me anymore, so I left it, and then just the... the aftermath. The, yeah, the aftermath of that was just like, whoa, like, bit huge toxic. learning yeah. curve. Um, but I guess for those setbacks, you've learned from them? For sure. Like, I wouldn't take it back at all. I guess it's no kind regrets. of not defined you, but helped you along your path. Definitely. And for all aspiring artists, you're going to face setbacks, and I guess take it with a pinch of salt. Yeah, move exactly. On. And at the time, it feels like, oh, how am I going to come back from this? But you do, so you you're do. fine. <laughs> Always come back. Always yeah. come back. Yeah. Oh, amazing. Yeah. Um, with, you know, those setbacks and this going to happen, have you always maintained that idea that whatever happens, you're still going to stay true to yourself? You're still going to paint? Still going to do what you love doing? Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, because I'm not in it for, like, money or anything. Mm-hmm. I, I, I just do it because, like, in the morning... I wake up and I'm like, yeah, I get to paint today. <laughs> Amazing. Thank. Thank yeah. that you're off and stuff. And yeah. Oh, fantastic. It's so good. So you've been, we've seen you do a lot of work with like, like your art therapy and we've seen you work with kids with disabilities. Why don't you tell us about the work you've been doing recently? Um, so I'm doing a collaboration exhibition with, oh, it's more like a window display kind of, dis- yeah, more of a display than an exhibition. Um, but with an artist, a local artist called um, Daniel Crosley. Okay. And he's an abstract artist. Oh, wow. Um, and it's been really cool working in the studio with him because um, we just like bounce ideas off each other and we work on a few paintings at once and it's kind of like a conversation through art. It's really an easy flow. Um, so that's in October and then doing a group exhibition in November as well. Um, and yeah, so a few little exhibitions coming up, which is fun. Amazing. And we yeah. saw you working with... I forgot what the organisation was called, but it's with might might have been one of your workshops, but with yeah. some young people with disabilities. Yeah, so I was with Rocky Bay. Oh, amazing! So amazing. they wanted a community war mural. Yeah. And um, we just came up with the idea where I would do the art line, I'd fill it in, mm-hmm. and um, so we just get people in and out coming and painting, adding a little bit. But it's a great community piece. 
Amazing. Yeah. And that's a great avenue for artists as well if they want to give back and stuff. Yeah, for sure. Outstanding. Yeah, yeah. So for all the people project. watching, inspire the next generation. Ari was clearly having an impact on doing that. And before, we covered a lot. Is there anything that you'd like to promote? Any of your new stuff coming? Um, Exhibitions? Project. Except for the show in October. Yeah, where's that, that going? Um, it's going to be at NX100. Yes. Um, as part of the Pepper Mountain, um, yeah, Pepper Mountain show. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so watch out. Amazing. <laughs> and how do you just before we do? How do you go about like promoting on social media, I guess, and sharing your stuff? Um, I mainly do a lot of things on my story. Yeah. I find like that really connects with people because you can see like the background of things mm -hmm. instead of like the finished edited version mm -hmm. of things and like a website as well i got website i've got facebook mm -hmm. my facebook is not that good i should really fix that well that's all right put, <laughs> put them in shout yeah. out your social medias awesome thank you yeah Appreciate all good it. so what's what's your instagram sorry ah oh, so it's ira katsira yeah so just my name yeah um we'll plug it in there as well don't worry okay. yeah and, and your my website. facebook is ira katsira illustration yeah and my website is just ira katsira artist dot com yeah dot you yeah yeah. amazing <laughs> well, you have been an absolute joy to have thank on here thank you so much no honestly it's been unbelievable Wicked. thank um, you so much for it's me. actually really good for us we've learned something today yeah because we can now go into it we'll definitely share your stuff thank big you. fan as well support me um, yeah. always so yeah thank you for coming on Wicked, no worries guys please go check her out support doing wonderful things not mm. just with her art but in the community as well and with young people as well guys thank you so much for watching thank you so much for being here Please like, share, comment, support. All our socials will be in the description as well. Or you'll find it through our socials. But yeah, thanks guys for watching and we will see you soon.